the yard work all done, but the yard is definitely missing one thing, man. The frog, dude, he's freaking back, man. Holy crap, this thing is heavy. Jesus. All right, let's get back to work on these headlights. Got one headlight disassembled. Man, <laughs> some of this stuff, like if you are to show me a picture of this, like this, and you are to tell me that that went to my headlight, I, I wouldn't believe you. <laughs> I don't, yeah, whatever. But anyhow, I got this headlight all disassembled. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys on this one really quick. So I had to take out that screw and then this section, this piece pulls out. Uh, you take out these two screws right here and then that inside plastic piece comes out with the adjuster. Uh, if you flip it over, same thing right here. You take out these two screws, but I'll tell you what, these screws are hard to get to. Uh, with a screwdriver or with a drill you you kind of have to use a pair of needle nose vice grips and clamp onto that thing and then get it loose and then try to get it out the rest of the way by hand uh, what i actually had to do was unscrew the adjuster all the way out which i didn't want to have to do that but that's that's just what i had to do in order to get to those screws um, and then yeah well actually this one on the back right here this one uh I, I actually did take that screw out and this piece would not come out. So what it ended up being was an Allen wrench. It's a five millimeter Allen wrench. You have to take, you put the Allen wrench in here and then you turn it and that's what loosens up this section. The rest is all screws. Don't want to lose any of these screws. Or else you'd be screwed so that's it four screws and this whole side is basically loose now you turn it around to this side now the only thing that's still holding it on is this one right here that i was talking about and as you can see it's just impossible to get a screwdriver in on those so So now you just want to go through and take all the rest of the stuff off and it's pretty it's pretty self-explanatory dude you got a screw right there and then this piece comes off and it's got these hoses attached to it take these screws out for that adjuster there's two more phillips head screws there and then there's one right here and then that whole piece comes out and that's pretty much it this is all my driver's side and this is all my passenger side uh just try to make sure to keep all your stuff separated man because i don't know if any of this stuff is re like reversible or not uh just to be safe i'm staying on the safe side and keeping it separated and not mixing my stuff up all right now before we hit the oven i'm gonna actually get these little metal clips off and how you get these off is they actually slide to the side you just have to kind of work it and slide them over and they pull right off Bam, just like that. So now with the headlight all stripped down and we got all those little metal clips off of there, we are ready to go hit the oven, bro. And I know a lot of people say, oh, use a tray, put aluminum foil on it, all that stuff, but I don't, I don't think it's freaking rocket science, bro. I'm just setting it in the oven. I have the oven set on 270 degrees and I'm gonna leave it in there for about, I'm gonna say eight minutes, that should be good. About a minute left, but, so while we're waiting, man, I wanna tell you guys, make sure to check out the links down below. Grab yourself some merch, dude. Get entered for a chance to win the drill set or the radiator support and the wing. Custom fabricated by me, of course. I gotta hit you with a quick merch plug, you know what I'm saying? It's how I make a living, bro. Check it out, I'm, I really wanna work on Patreon, man. So if any of you guys are on the fence about joining the Patreon, please go sign up. Join to be a Patreon. It really helps tremendously towards the builds. Right now I have six. I don't have six fingers on one hand, but I have six. <laughs> by the 10th of October, I would really like to get to 20, man. So if you guys can get me there, Please go sign up to be a Patreon. The link is down below. I, I mean, you can do $2 a month, you know what I'm saying? Most of the people on there are doing $5 a month, but you can do two if you want. <laughs> and if you guys didn't notice in the last video, I wasn't joking, I'm gonna be sending out 
some free stuff on October 10th to my Patreons to show my appreciation. So go get signed up, bro. Woo. Yeah, that's a little warm. Damn, burning me through the glove. Here we go, wish me luck. Hope I don't crack it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, that's not bad, dude. Dude, that was really freaking easy, man. Oh, oh, crap. Don't, don't break. Yeah, buddy. Dude, what is up, man? That was so much easier than I expected. Holy crap, I was so nervous about cracking this lens. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. But look at this. Holy shit. Look at that, dude. That's the reason why. That right there is the reason why I just had to do this. And then if you look at the inside of this lens, how cloudy it is, like I, I think that is literally just like from years of moisture building up and dust and whatever. Um, I don't want to touch it because it's still really hot. I could feel it radiating heat. But all right, so now while we have this thing sitting here and cooling down, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other headlight in there and get it separated. Uh, then we can move on to the next step, bro. See you in eight minutes there, buddy. Ooh, that thing is hot, man. But isn't that freaking interesting, dude? That is weird. You see how this one's mounted? You see the two screws down there? It has those little brackets that just comes off the side of this thing. And they just, like, what the hell? They just flat out broke off, like right at where they're bent, dude. They just broke right off, man. That's crazy. Whatever. I'm trying to decide if I should even leave those in there or just take them out. Uh, I don't know. All right, so I turned the heat up a little bit on the stove and I stuck just the housing. Whew, man, that's hot. I stuck just the housing inside of the oven and it basically turned this freaking glue into liquid, bro. Cause I'm just, I'm trying to get all the glue off of here now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna go back and forth, just putting each piece in the oven, getting it hot, you know what I'm saying? And getting all this glue off of the housings and then off of the lenses. I just wanna get them as cleaned up as possible. Uh, I'm not gonna record all that, bro. I'm gonna make it easy on myself. It's gonna be boring anyways, you know what I'm saying? Right, so we have almost almost have the headlights ready for painting bro. Holy freaking crap, dude I know in the last video I mentioned to you guys that I'm gonna try to have this done and up for you on Friday But I tell you what man it literally took all day like part of the day Wednesday when I got off work on Thursday I started working on these things it took me all day bro to like 9 o'clock at night and here we are Saturday and we're barely getting them to the point where we can put some primer on them and the thing is because I'm wanting to redo the entire lens here. This entire housing I'm wanting to redo. So all the glue and everything that's inside of here, it's gotta come out. For a lot of you guys that are just simply like just wanting to clean up your headlight on the inside and stuff, you're not gonna have to do this. You really don't have to take all that glue off. But the thing is, is I want to because I'm wanting to change the color of the edge all the way around here. I'll show you guys that a little bit more later, but realistically, if you guys were doing this and you're wanting to just take it apart and then clean up the inside and spray, redo the silver, and then put it back together, you would just leave the glue on there because you put them in the oven and then you reheat the glue and you, you use that same glue basically to put the headlight back together. You don't have to use new um glue I, I keep calling it glue but i don't know exactly what that shit was how hard is it to get that stuff out of there brandon it's very difficult <laughs> are your fingers hurting yes 
Uh, definitely was a pain in the ass, but we got all the glue off, got the insides of the housings all sanded. Uh, we need to, you need to get rid of like all the shininess, you know what I mean? Uh, to make sure that the paint is gonna stick. Uh, got the back of the housing like all sanded and prepped pretty much. I'm gonna go ahead and actually hose these off once again, just to get them clean, get all the dust off of them. And then we'll get them set up and get our primer on them. But everything is primer and I did hit these pieces since they are plastic with a plastic specific primer first. Uh, a lot of people refer to it as adhesion promoter. Uh, just to try to make sure that we don't have any problems with the paint flaking off in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and let these dry for a little while. And then we're going to spray everything. Everything right here is just getting sprayed black, bro. Tell me get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes. Are you fucking eating grass, bro? <laughs> that dude cracks me up. All right, so we got the housings all painted. Uh, I actually did the inside silver and the whole outside of the housing is black because I just, I don't know, I, I figured if I'm, if I'm going all out on it, I may as well do something to make it custom, you know what I mean? And I, I was hoping that it doesn't look too terribly tacky in which, I don't know, we'll see whenever it's actually in the car. But I, I think with the whole back side of the headlight actually being black, I just think it's gonna tie together with the color scheme a lot better than, than it would have with them being just the factory gray plastic, you know what I mean? I mean, the gray wouldn't look bad because it's stock. But, I mean, everything else on this car has been touched. We may as well do something with the headlights as well. But before we get going much further, uh, these lenses are very foggy, bro. Like, if you look at them, they have kind of a yellowish tint to them. Um, and then also, there's like a lot of like rusted stains and stuff in it, in which I've already been trying to kind of wipe them down and clean them up. Um, and then it, 
nothing has really worked, dude. So I went and picked up some of this stuff, this CLR. I'm sure you guys have seen the commercials for this stuff, man. Like where they, they dip like a rusty wrench in it and then they pull it back out and the wrench looks brand new. <laughs> I don't know, when I, when I was thinking about trying to get rid of the staining that's going on in this glass, this stuff came to mind. So I, I tried to Google like what people may use and I, I literally couldn't find anything. So I definitely remember this stuff from commercials from back in the day and I figured why not give it a shot. Alright, so I'm gonna let those soak for a little while, probably a good 10 minutes or so, then I'll come flip them over so that this side that's sticking out actually gets submerged as well. And while those things are soaking, there's a few other things that I picked up at a combination of AutoZone and uh, O'Reilly's. So I got this black silicone, and if you read it, it says general purpose general purpose adhesive seals and insulates it's for interior and exterior um, it's weatherproof so this is going to be the silicone that i use to reapply the lens to the housing and i wanted to get black uh reason being because if you notice i left this black trim around the front side of the headlight before it was gray and before the the adhesive that they use from factory was gray as well um, I'm doing black because I'm hoping that it's going to give that like black kind of outline uh, to the headlight. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know. I just like the way it looks with just like a black outline going around it. And I got this stuff here from O'Reilly's. It's like a uh, foil tape. It's like a chrome tape. Um, and then I also went to, no, this was from AutoZone. Then I also went to O'Reilly's to see what they had. And they had this. It's kind of it's kind of the same thing. It's just a little bit wider, uh, different packaging, of course. But and I grabbed a couple of those as well. Uh, just I don't know. I'm gonna try to figure something out here. My idea is just this area going this way. Um, I want to try to get this chrome tape just so it's a little bit more reflective than what this silver paint obviously is going to be but i am going to go ahead and just leave the bottom and the top sections just silver the way that we have it painted but i'm going to try to get this reflective like chrome going around the back side so it does have a little bit more of a projection out whenever the headlights are actually on So I got one of the headlights done and I want you guys to pay attention to what it looks like with the actual glass lens on here. All right, so you can kind of see that the bottom there is the painted silver and you can see the back is more reflective because that's where we put that foil tape. The foil tape is gonna help with uh, shining the, the illumination outwards, you know what I mean? Really, I, I think that we could have got away with just leaving it like this, but the headlights wouldn't be as bright uh, as they were before so I, I think that this is gonna help us quite a bit But now that you've seen it with the lens on I'm gonna pull the lens off and let you guys see <laughs> Let you guys see how this came out and which by the way the lenses are a lot lot cleaner Thanks to that CLR. Uh, I still have one of them over there soaking uh, But it definitely did make a huge difference. They don't have that yellow tint to them anymore But here is that foil tape guys now hear me out, this is not the best looking thing I, I think I've ever done, but dude, I did my best. And really, it, it doesn't look that bad, you know, from like right here. Like if you, if you really look at it, like you can see that it is a lot of little like squares. For the most part, that foil tape is really difficult to get to lay down flat inside of there. And if you try to do like one piece or long strips, uh, it just won't take the shape you can't get it to round around stuff because it's not like vinyl bro It's actual honestly if I if I had to describe it It's a lot like aluminum foil, but with an adhesive back and you can't 
You can't get it to lay flat, dude. For the life of me, I couldn't. But the easiest method that I figured out on how to get it in there and it to actually look halfway decent was just basically to cut little squares. Like some of these larger flat areas, I was able to do with large pieces. But back here where it's it's mostly just all rounded, I had to cut like a bunch of little individual squares and just kind of piece it together for the most part. Now bear with me here guys, it doesn't look all that great with the lens off, but remember with all the prisms and everything that's inside of this glass, like you really are never gonna be able to tell. Because once you put the lens on there, it just, it you can't see that back there. You know what I'm saying? You just see that it's silver. To me, this kind of represents the final product with just setting the glass on here. And I'm, I'm satisfied with it, man. That looks a lot better than what it did before. Whenever it was just all rusted and just, you know, falling apart inside of there and gross. All right, with my little final touch done on the headlight, now it is time to go ahead and apply the lens. And we are gonna be using, like I mentioned earlier, uh, this Permatex adhesive sealant. And I should also mention to you guys that I am not going to be putting these things back in here. Um, I'm sure I'll probably get some kind of comments down below that these are important or something, but one of them is damaged and not usable, and I don't have a replacement for it. So I'm just going to be eliminating both of them. All right, so I just filled that up with a nice thick bead of that silicone in there. And now I'm just going to just basically press the lens on there and squish that stuff together. Then we got to go ahead and put our clips back on. Now, one thing that I'll say is very important before you guys put the headlight back together is make sure you get all the fingerprints and, and the inside of this lens and everything is all nice and clean before, before you glue it back together because you're not going to be able to get in there again. All right, now there is our glass lens glued back on. I got the little clamps back on there. And to be honest with you, I mean, it looks a lot better than what they did. You know what I'm saying? But it's not, I mean, it's not perfect right here. Um, the, the adhesive kind of splurged out a lot more than what it did anywhere else. But I mean, it's, it's not too terribly noticeable. Um, I, I think overall, I am satisfied with the headlights, I guess. I guess the little imperfections that it has, I more so worry about what other people are going to say about it than what I actually uh, think of it. But anyhow, for the most part, guys, it's now getting pretty late. It's Sunday. Uh, these headlights, to be straight up with you, have taken me a lot longer than I expected them to. Um, and at the moment, I'm like rushing. Like, I'm kind of rushing, trying to get through this, trying to get them done so that I can get a video up for you guys. And I'm I'm making stupid little mistakes like that. So pretty much what I'm saying is I need to slow down, dude. I'm gonna finish these up after work tomorrow. Um, in the next episode, you guys will see the headlights completely assembled because I am wanting to get the headlights installed. Uh, I want to finish up the wiring. I need to go pick up my alternator. I'm waiting on uh, this plug to come in, the OBD2 10 point plug to come in for the alternator. I mean for the distributor. And I would like to get the fenders back on. I want to get that little centerpiece, the headlights, and I want to get the front bumper on the car. That is definitely my goal for the next couple of days. So in order for me to get this video finished and get it up for you guys on Monday I'm gonna have to call it quits right now get in there and start editing you know what I'm saying cuz I'm also excited to get the new t-shirt posted up on the website that's another thing I need to get done tonight so if you guys are interested there's gonna be new t-shirts dreams don't work unless you do and it's got the EF split in two basically my idea behind this is the the car is torn apart you know what I'm saying got the car torn apart all into pieces so that's the reason why the EF is split in two two pieces and it says dreams don't work unless you do because you gotta work at it man i got a lot to do tonight get uh get the shirt up for you guys get this video edited and get it posted for you guys so you have a freaking monday video i can't stand when i miss mondays don't forget guys grab yourself some merch grab yourself a new t-shirt because by the time you're seeing this video uh these will be up on the site and i'll see you guys on the next one peace and have a good week Peace.